Saul of Tarsus was the famous Saint Paul, as everybody knows him. Before becoming Saint Paul, he was the biggest enemy of the first Christians until he had this vision. He saw the Lord in front of him and then he was converted into Christianity and he became one of the most iconic saints of Christianity. When I think of God's grace and mercy and who's the one embodiment of that, it's always Saul to me. You know, somebody who was persecuting Christians goes from the basically greatest persecutor of the early church into the greatest evangelizer in all of church history. So it's always been something that stuck with me. When I had my encounter with Christ and really experienced that grace and love and mercy for the first time, Paul's story has always resonated with me. So after making full of grace, it was, it was immediately the next choice. There was nobody else to focus on. I've spent 30 years playing villains and I guess that experience of playing men who always control others, it's a fantastic resource for me to know what that is, to have played all those people and to have done all those terrible things, not personally, but as a character over the years. And now to get a chance to expiate those sins and that guilt through the character of Paul. And I find it very uplifting. What I think God sees when he sees someone like Saul, he sees a man or a woman on an extreme kind of scale of passion and anger and hatred. I feel like God takes great pleasure in flipping those people. The extreme nature of Paul against the Christians when it was flipped was just the other side of the spectrum, 180 degrees over that extreme love for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I think it's that passion. And, and ultimately, when I whittle down the message from Paul, nobody is beyond the reach of the grace of God. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter where you've been. I think that's such a powerful message that the world needs to hear. To hear Paul say, I'm the chief of sinners, and yet I could do nothing without the grace of God. Everything is redeemable. God is not standing over us going, shame, guilt. He's saying, I love you, I want you, come to me. God loves us before our sin, yes. After our sin, yes. And also during our sin. And a lot of people say, mm, no, God doesn't have that kind of grace. God doesn't have that kind of a big heart. Yes, he does, he loves us.